Guys, Zachary Levi is our Shazam, and Warner Brothers is fast-tracking this movie. I have a theory on why Zachary does indeed fit for the role and why the studio's rushing this out, and I want to talk about it. Bam, 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 bam. What is up, YouTube? It's Josh. This is the Den of Nerds. If you love comic book movies, subscribe to this channel. We do all sorts of coverage when it comes to those types of films. And shout out to Nick Roberts, who got the nerd card question correct, in my latest Justice League video, you definitely know your stuff when it comes to the Justice League. So shout out to you, Nick. There will be another nerd card question at the end of this video. Now let's get right into this. After much speculation and waiting, we have official casting for Shazam. And it's Zachary Levi, who was the guy who played Chuck on NBC's Chuck. And he also played Fandrill in the Thor movie. So when I first heard this reaction, I gotta be honest, I was a little bit disappointed and confused confused but check this out this is what he says via his Instagram about being cast so he says honored and greatly humbled to be a part of the DC universe by bringing the original Captain Marvel to life I am beside myself with gratitude not only for this opportunity but also the incredible outpouring of love and support from so many of you out there in the world now if you'll excuse me I'll be in the gym for the rest of forever and it's kind of funny that he mentions being in the gym for so long because that's kind of my biggest problem with this casting. Basically, I think when I first heard this, I was like, oh yeah, he'd be a good older Billy Batson, but he would now work as Shazam. John Cena was famously in the run to play this character, and I really came around to really wanting to see John Cena in that role. And I did mention in the video I did about that back, way back when those rumors were first circulating, that I can see something where Warner Brothers would not want to do this because it could potentially give the WWE a lot of fuel for like a big wrestling match. Essentially, if you have Black Adam and Shazam being two wrestlers that already have a pre-established rivalry, that's really good business for the WWE and maybe just not something that Warner Brothers wants to be involved with. And I don't know if that's exactly what happened here or not, but I was really starting to like the idea of John Cena being Shazam. I think that Zachary Levi is a great actor and I think he can embody some of the wholesome qualities that they're looking for and perhaps bring this new light into the DCEU that, you know, Jeff Johns and other people keep talking about. But I was initially a little bit disappointed. However, I've kind of come around on it and let me explain why. Zach is actually a huge nerd and he can certainly stick that balance of being childlike and yet very serious for the role. And I think what's happening here is he might actually be playing Billy and Shazam, which may basically like a digital thing where they'll have him be Billy Batson and then they'll use some kind of a CGI on him to make him bigger when he is Shazam. Sort of a, re a reverse of what they did with Chris Evans in the original Captain America movie. Now, look, the technology here is getting really good, but imagine them trying to shrink down someone like John Cena. I just don't see him being able to be Billy Batson, even though he would be perfect for Shazam. I don't think it would work as well if you tried to make him into a teenager. So in that sense, I can see Zachary Levi basically being this really nice physique that they can sort of enhance digitally to make him big, like, you know, the big red cheese, but also put some baggier clothes on him and allow him to just play Billy Batson as well. So that's kind of where my head goes. Maybe that is why they selected him because he's kind of in between both of those worlds. Now, lastly, I want to talk about why I believe Warner Brothers is fast tracking this film. And it has to do with tone a little bit here. The DCEU is going through many, many changes. And a lot of their films are on hold as they wait to see how Justice League is received. I actually just did a video yesterday about how Flashpoint is really being held from furthering its production until they know how Justice League is received. And basically, I believe that Shazam is ignoring those rules, and I think this has to do with two basic reasons. Number one, Shazam represents a shift in tone that Warner Brothers and Jeff Johns have been talking about and desiring for the DCEU for some time now. He's more heroic, lighthearted, and uh, basically just fluffier than the current controversial tone that was set up by Zack Snyder and David Goyer. And make no mistake, guys, whatever Warner Brothers tries to tell us, they are moving away from that Zack Snyder 
David Goyer tone. It's just so obvious with some of the moves that they've been making. They are trying to go away from that tone. Shazam represents a way for them to do that. And I think that that's part of the reason that they're fast tracking it. The second reason is that the lore of Shazam seems to be a great fit with the only other really strong singular property in the DCEU. And that is, of course, Wonder Woman. They both deal with gods and Greek mythology. And I wouldn't be surprised if they put Wonder Woman in this movie with some kind of a supporting role or even a cameo when it comes to the mythology or whatever story they are trying to weave. So that's basically why I believe Shazam is being fast-tracked. Whatever that pitch was or whatever their idea for the story is, I think it has to do with this lighter tone and it's going to tie into Wonder Woman based around mythology. And like I said, I also think that Zachary Levi might be able to play both Billy Batson and Shazam, which could be really interesting and I think they'll do some digital enhancing. But that's my thoughts. That's the news. I want to know, what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know in the comment section. How do you feel about Zachary Levi being cast? And what do you think about the evidence I suggested for why Warner Brothers is fast tracking this film? Would love to have a conversation with you guys about that in the comment section below. All right, let's check that nerd card. And I think this is a very fitting question. The word Shazam is actually an acronym for all of the Greek gods that whose powers Shazam basically has. So I want to know, what is the list of all the gods that correspond to the letters that make up Shazam? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and nerdy day. See ya!